I know you had mentioned, you were like, hey, I'm going on this cruise, you know, thanks for your help. But I don't even know how I helped you. What did I do? Like, I don't even know. <laughs> I bought the festivals kit, the promoters and like booking or something. And I signed up for one of these websites that she gave me, one of the like hundreds, okay? So I would submit like every day. Some guy hit me up and he was like, hey, I saw your application that you connected me to. And I was like, is this real? Give me a video call. So we started video calling back and forth. And then the carnival entertainment people actually emailed me and they were like, hey, welcome to the team. Please accept your job offer. <laughs> Wow. Oh, heck yeah. And I am so excited. Like, I screamed when I got there. <laughs> um, Are you kidding me right now? Uh, just talking to you makes me so much more excited. <laughs> like, I, I, I had just a lot of weird stuff that happened to me in the last few years. Like, I lost my mom to um, a drug overdose. And so I don't have anyone to call really and just scream mm -hmm. on the phone like, this is happening. You know, so <laughs> this is like my moment right now. I just, I feel lots of excitement, lots of hot blood pressure right now. Um, well, you can share with me every time, every time. Yeah, we have right. will, We're going to have our screaming, I'm your screaming moment. Awesome. What are you, what are you like most excited about? So I'm very excited to strengthen myself, number one, through this whole um, entire opportunity. I'm very excited to meet new people. I love people. I'm a people person. Um, I so I'm, I'm very, very excited about who I'm going to meet, what languages I'm going to speak where I'm going to go um, and what, what I'm going to learn to uh, better myself, number one. And I also have been trying to just build a better catalog of songs. So over the last few weeks, I've been going hard, learning like three to five songs a day. I know some people are a little scared or apprehensive about getting started. They think that everything needs to be perfect or they need to get lucky. What would you say to somebody to encourage them about how they could actually get started and book paid shows like like you're doing right now. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I know that persistence is the absolute key. And a no doesn't always mean an absolute no. It means maybe no, and then I'll see you in the future or no, or I see you when somebody maybe flops out. Um, and I, I've learned that quite a bit in the music industry. Um, I love everything that you're saying because it's such a numbers game. Like I used to go um, door to door when I was knocking on doors. I used to sell my music and I would knock on about 100 doors a day and about 90 of them would tell me no. And they wouldn't just say no. They'd like slam doors in my face and they'd be like, get off my property or, you know, they sometimes they'd say really mean things. And But about 10 out of those 100 would buy a CD from me. So it was like the perspective thing. You could look at it like a 90% failure rate or you can look at it at a 10% success rate. I always just looked at this 10% are like, cool, I just got to knock on 10 doors and I'll get one person will say yes. I got to knock on 100 doors, 10 people will say yes, you know, and that was how I reached my that, goal. That's, uh, that's, that's, girl, that's wild. <laughs> so it's like the same thing in your case, you know, sometimes it takes time, but the time's going to arrive anyway. And it's like, okay, where do you want to be when one year lands? You know, and so for some people it's fast. Sometimes it takes a week. You know, we've yeah. worked with people where literally within a week they're on tour, you know, yeah. and then sometimes it's not that fast, but the time is going to arrive anyway. Right. So where do you want to be? And like you're a testimony of that. Like you just kept, like you kept doing that. And, and it just takes one. Like it, like literally, this could be like, you know, you start this and then you're gonna get offered other ones and other ones, like you could have a whole new career for as long as you want. Right. Consistent. Literally, you know? I was like, I may never have to get back here at home again, like ever. Uh, thank you once again for just just sharing, you know, how you did it, putting yourself out there to to bless somebody else's life. Like, I mean, uh I, I know that you know a little bit how it impacts people, but I've been stuck here for so long. Um, 
Yeah. And I didn't know how I was going to get out of here and who. And you popped up in my Instagram feed. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably some ridiculous ad too. Lots of things are going to change. So thank you, Kristen. I greatly appreciate it. Absolutely, man. I'm like, I'm like fighting back tears right now. Thank you so much. You've, you've made my day. So I hope you know that. Like, I really, really love doing this. And like, it's like an honor, seriously. Like, it's a really big honor. And I'm, I'm so excited. You got to take lots of photos, lots of videos. Wow. Um, thank you. I'm so happy for you. Same for you. Just keep going. It's just a numbers game. You just keep going. Because right. there's a reason why they're putting you on there. There's a reason why. And it has to do with you and your talent and your persistence. So, right. You got this. You reach out to me if you need anything, okay? Okay, I definitely will. Thank you.